Okay, in this video we're going to look at multiplying and dividing complex numbers in uh, trigonometric or polar form. So I've got two complex numbers here in uh, polar form. It says all you do to multiply them is we just multiply the r1 times the r2, and then it says we add the angles. We take cosine of the angles added together plus i times sine of the angles added together. To divide, we just divide our r sub 1 by r sub 2. Um, and then we simply subtract the angles instead of adding them. So nothing, uh, nothing too bad at all here. Um, so let's do an example here. So we've got 6 uh, cosine of 60 degrees plus I sine of 60 degrees over 3 uh, times cosine of 90 degrees plus I sine of 90 degrees. So in this case, we're doing uh, division. So it says what we'll simply do is we just take our r1 over our r2, and then it says we simply subtract. Um, we'll take our theta1 minus our theta2. So in this case, well, if we do the division, we'll get 6 divided by 3. Whoops, I'm already getting the answer there of 2. So 6 divided by 3. And then it says we simply take cosine of 60 degrees minus 90 degrees plus i times sine of 60 degrees minus 90 degrees. And well, 6 over 3 is 2. This will be cosine of negative 30 degrees plus i sine of negative 30 degrees. And boom, that's it. We're done. So pretty straightforward, I think. You know, kind of a, another random formula to remember. Um, you know, it's always good to understand the derivations of these two because then you're not just memorizing random formulas. You're kind of, you know, uh, hopefully understanding where they come from. Let's go ahead and do part B here as well. Um, here we're multiplying two, um, two complex numbers here in polar form. And again, it says when you uh, are multiplying, it says all we do is we multiply the R1 and the R2, and then we add the angles together instead of subtracting them. So in this case, we'll simply take our 2 times our 5, which will give us 10. And then in our parentheses, we would have cosine of 45 degrees. And then I would have to add the angle 30 degrees. Um, and then we just do our plus i sine of, we do the same thing. We just take 45 degrees and add to that the value of 30 degrees here. And in this case, we'll just be left with 10 times cosine of 75 degrees plus i times sine of 75 degrees. And again, uh, in this case, we'll just leave them in our polar form. Again, we're, we've now got our solution here. So not a lot to do. Part C, which we'll do in another example, that'll be a little, uh, a little more complicated just because the numerator is not in polar form. So we'll first have to put that in polar form, um, and then it'll just turn back into a problem like we did here in part eight. 